is an emphasis that we need to rely less on oil and gas and that we need to sort of move forward and think about renewables. Nuclear, look here in France, you extraordinary the way in which you, you, you led the world in that. So do you think that that, that movement has been accelerated by what's happened in Ukraine? It's clear that after the beginning of the um, Ukraine-Russia war and the Russian invasion, um, everyone was looking for alternative sources of energy. And I must say the Germans were the most impacted because they were benefiting from a cheap yep. Russian gas, which went then to China. Um, so I think it's not only the supply chain of energy, but people began to realize that the supply chain could be uh, in danger in the middle of a geopolitical uh, turmoil. Um, and this price of energy, which went up, helped create more inflation. It was already the beginning at the exit of COVID, mm -hmm. but it went up. And last year, you remember this uh, number, which is extraordinary, that the European countries had to give a subvention of 600 billion euros uh, to the population and the industry to keep the price of energy at certain level. Yep. It's sure that they cannot re-up this amount of money every year from now. Mm -hmm. And so it means that, um, and you see yesterday there was an announcement that uh, the government is authorizing the French supermarkets to sell um, fuel at, at a discount <laughs> with a loss. So it's very, it's a very tricky situation. Um, so I think um, this pressure on inflation uh, will remain and it will keep, this is to come back to your macro equation, sure. it will keep interest rates high yeah. for a certain amount of time, yeah. of, of course, and even the long-term interest need to grow certainly to increase a sure. little.